Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, tell me about your uh, ADC experience, I guess. Um, so I just started playing ranked at the end of last season. Nice. So I, I played like a lot. Of, I played mostly ADC last season. And then in the off season, I just kind of played like a bunch of random stuff. Like in the pre. Like I was just trying to figure out what role I actually wanted to play. And like mm -hmm. I even started at the beginning of this season as a jungle main. And I just, it, it just got like super frustrating for me to jungle like all the time. So. Yeah. And I just, enjoy, I just enjoyed ADC a lot more. ADC is pretty fun, honestly. When you get going, it's like, hell yeah, right? Right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at these then. Which of these do you think is most relevant to see first? Uh, the Jin, definitely. Okay. That was the game where I felt like I had like a massive lead, and I just couldn't press it to win the game. Okay, okay. Good I, th I, th I can't remember if the Kaisa one I downloaded was, or I uploaded was like, I don't know if that was one I played really well on. I had another Jin one I was going to upload that we ended up winning, but it was like the lane just felt super rough the entire time. So tell me, how does um how does the laning phase usually go? Um, it's pretty hit or miss. Like I usually, like I feel like I I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. Like, it usually goes well, I think. There's, like, a few odd games where I just, like, completely feed my ass off in lane, but... Overall, it's, um, I guess, yeah. not bad? Yeah, just in general, it's I, I feel like it's okay. Okay. Definitely, oh, yeah. there's definitely things I need to improve, though. How about, um, how about, like, team fighting? Um, I feel like I probably struggle there a lot. Um, I didn't really understand, like... How to team fight with Jin uh, in the first few games I played with him, just because he's like he's like one of the only ADCs that I've played that doesn't have like a mobility ability, like a movement ability. Besides his passive, which was like, I guess it was really hard for me to just like understand how good his passive was in like kiting. Then how about uh, how about like mid game stuff? Uh, what like macro that kind of stuff or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like decision making, I guess. That one, I feel it's like inconsistent. Like, like there are some games where I, where I'm able to like completely focus and like call objectives and like kind of group my team around the areas that we need to be. And then there are some games where it just feels like I'm, like I'm so focused on doing something else that I'm just that I'm like throwing super hard. Is it, like, kind of what it okay. feels like? So here's so far so far what I'm noticing. All right, so there are a lot of good things that, that we can talk about. So uh, the first is I really like your mechanical uh, clicking. I guess we could call it like where you're clicking. This is great. You just click close to your champion, and you you know um, there aren't any any misclicks, right? So it's uh uh it's definitely a, a super strong foundation. All right, so now we're gonna throw you some like um I guess Jin specific ideas. Are you gonna be playing Jin more? Or, um, I mean, what do you the, think? I know you said you didn't, you didn't really, in the Discord message, you said you didn't really like Kaisa, but uh, I mean, I really enjoy playing her and I feel like I'm playing her really well, so okay, okay. I'll probably just continue to play Jin and Kaisa. So, there are, um, so, so I, I only mentioned this because there's, there's some, um, ADC specific ideas or more like laning specific ideas, and then on top of that, um, Jin. In this case, Jin can do it. So what I mean by that is, you know, we can pressure the enemy ADC when they want a minion, right? You've, you've heard of this concept before, right? Yeah. So um, the question is, it's, it's always like two parts to it. It's when do you do it and how do you do it? So what do you think? When do you do it? Like pressuring him when they want a minion? Yeah, when you, like, he wants his minion and, uh, you know, you want to you wanna just mess with him or hit him. You know, when, when would you do that? Um, when he starts walking to the minion, especially like when I have my fourth shout up. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean more of a um, um, not really gen specific, but more of a ADC specific. Like, can you do this every time? For example, can you do this on every single minion that no, he wants? No. And why is that? Um, wouldn't it? It would depend a little bit more on the other support, wouldn't it? 
Right, like matchup ideas, like, oh, if he, instead of last hitting, he trades with you, are we going to have a problem, right? So, right. for sure, if we win this trade or we want to trade, we want to pressure on a minion. Right. And then that leads us to the Jin specific example, which is exactly what you just said, you know, when you have a fourth shot, you would like to trade, right? Yeah. So, ideas like this that I think can help a lot uh, is something like, um, no, uh, do we want to pressure him on minions? And then... How do we do it? Well, you just, you know, like you said, you're going to wait for him to try and get a minion and you're going to hit him. So the, I, the reason why we're talking about this is because we've seen this a lot where um, he's kind of letting, there's an opportunity here. Every time he wants a minion, you have a fourth shot and he's not going to know what to do. So you can just hit him for free. But um, just, just things to point out because, you know, I think you are at the level where you can pull this off pretty much every time. Like the way you're clicking is really good. So I'm pretty sure, you know, if you just start doing this, this is, this is no problem for you. So, every something to think about is like, you know, uh, you should look to pressure on the minions. You see how every time you've chosen to hit a minion instead of hit him? Yeah. If that makes any sense? Yeah. So, there are a lot of opportunities here. I think it's going to help laning phase a lot. It's, you know, you know, you're going to win. <laughs> you're going to win lane, essentially, if you can do this. So, like, maybe like this one, you know, maybe we wouldn't want to do it because you don't have a fourth shot, right? You want it to be very clear. I mean... If you're testing, you can try and do it. But if you get out traded, then you know it doesn't work, right? Right. Um, yeah, definitely an idea you can start working on, especially uh, especially since the way you're clicking is extremely accurate. I like it. But beyond that, so far, laning phase is, is pretty, um, pretty, pretty not bad. Pretty good. Okay. You see what you did there? Check it out. Ignore right. this minion. I mean, you can cue this minion if you want. But uh, he wants his minion, you don't let him have it, he feels bad, or he's going to take a hit. Right? You just do this, you do this right. like 10 times in a row, and they're going to be upset. <laughs> so, so like, yeah, that situation would be, because like, oh, I traded a CS to do that too, is that like... Yeah, 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 you can, you, okay. honestly, you didn't have to give up the CS, you could press Q. Okay. And keep your fourth shot, that's a classic Jin trick. This is a really good gank debate, I like the way you use your W. You know, you've pretty much hit all of them, very good. So, if there are mistakes, or rather, if you lose games, it's definitely not through laning. Um, from what I'm seeing so far, it's probably something to do with like maybe Baron ideas or maybe team fights, right? Um, and you know, I think mid game decision making, uh, I think everyone at this level has problems with that, so I don't think that's really it either. So it's probably it's probably the fighting somewhere. Okay, so far so good. Let's push this out. You can base if you want. Oh, what the hell? Back it up. Yeah, they're doing Baron or they're doing Infernal, so I stayed in lane. They're doing Inferno? Holy shit. Yeah, Lee, Lee gets executed by the dragon. I didn't want to go up because I didn't think it was a good idea. And I didn't think they were actually going to do it. I thought they were just going to ward and then they started it. I mean, they get it, but Lee dies for it. I mean, that's probably worth... Uh, you might be dying here, good sir. He has no. guy, right? Oh, he has no mana! Holy shit! Yeah. He has no mana. Are you sure? Uh, you're in lane way too long. This Twitch is about to kill you. If you're not careful. Okay, well, we eventually got home. So I'm not gonna complain about it too much, but uh, yeah, I th well there I was like, um, I stayed in lane because they were doing dragon, and I wanted to be able to come up if someone contested it. Also, I was greeting really hard for a BF sword, right? And so, I, I didn't know if that was like a th I didn't know if that was a good or bad, but so let's say they're doing dragon here, and you say we want to stay so we can be on the map to help if something happens, right? Right. So, um, we. The idea behind staying in lane versus going to help them, do you think there's a difference? Um, I just... Well, because it was just Lee Sin on it, and I don't think they had vision on it. I don't, I don't remember who their jungler was this game. Or no, it was Kane. And he had showed bot like a minute and a half ago or something, so I didn't think they had vision on it. So I figured as long as I just stayed in lane that no one would walk over there, because we had... Uh, we see four players on the map, so... Okay, that's that's pretty fair. That's pretty fair analysis. What if uh, Kane ganked you while your team was doing Dragon? Um, I mean, I could ping for help, but I still have Flash, so... I feel like I probably could have gotten out of that. And Kane preform is like... I don't think he could do that much damage. So let's watch, let's watch this. Here. It should be, you know, relatively okay. I would say, right? Yeah. What if Kane went to the dragon? Or Tom Kench uh, went to the dragon? Uh, well, if Kane went to the dragon, they'd be fucked. If Tom Kench went, I could follow. Right, so 
you know, if our choice is we need to be around to help this idea, um, it's usually more consistent to if they if like they can't even do it, you should try and help them. Otherwise, we're just trying to call this off completely, right? This is like a this is like a half measure where um, we're trying to stay in lane to to kind of help. This is actually fine. Let's say Lee and and Nautilus can solo it, and if their enemy jungle shows up, you can come help, and that's fine. That's totally fine. Right. In this case, it's just your team is so weak, like because it's level, it's like five, five, six minutes in the game that you know they're they're actually dying to the dragon. So you need right. to help them in a sense, okay. right? You need to make sure this goes well. So even if you have to sacrifice, you know, a wave to get the inferno, that's 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 fine, right? Um, right. Well, part this... of my thought process on that was because uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't think they were actually gonna like try to do it. I just didn't think it was a good time because like Nautilus wasn't. Uh, I don't. Nautilus might have been full HP. But and Lee was like half HP or something. I just didn't think it was good to start it, so I just didn't walk over. And then by the time they had already started it, I was already like kind of committed to pushing the wave in. So I figured it was just better to finish pushing the wave to the tower. All right, that's 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 fair, I guess. Then it's more of an idea of like, you know, do you know what your team is doing after uh, you guys kill them bot? Right, because you definitely need to know if they're you definitely need to know if they started the dragon to in order to make um make an informed decision. I think, but right. no, it's, it's not it's not going to be the end of the world. It's just that that is a common pattern where um after you kill them bot and something like that happens, that's like a that's like a, a recipe for disaster essentially. Like the enemy mid laner can go and double kill right, or enemy jungle can go solo stop it, especially if it's not a cane. Um, you see where like a lot of things can go wrong in those kind of situations, right? So. Just something to keep in mind, I guess, if you see that pattern, where your team is really weak, but they still try to do the objective. Right. And okay, so far so good. Okay, let's watch this. The nice hook, can is top. This is easy clap. Sure, sure, sure. Push, push, push. Uh, okay, hold up. Let's back it up. Come to all our mana. Uh, I used two Ws to stop Tom Kench's backs. Okay, that's that's probably fine. And then I didn't have it up when he hit the hook. So this is actually something good to talk about. So, um, in general, if a fight breaks out, how much mana would you like to have? In the best case scenario. What's the minimum amount of mana you would want? Um, probably 200. Why would you say 200? Uh, QW and then R. I agree, right? We would like at least 200. Maybe like, you know, more would be nice. You could cast, right. you cast your eater, right? Okay, so let's, uh, if you dip below 200, what does that mean? Um, I'm using too much mana on uh, either the minions or just not, like I'm not trading my mana for HP effectively. Well, I mean, you could be, right? You could be. It's just that. Uh, if you get to under 200 H under 200 mana, what would you like to do? Um, wait for the mana regen or not fight. Right, and that's 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 kind of a important concept because if you end up fighting and you you start you know using abilities that aren't that you know if you start like essentially wasting your mana when you're below this threshold, you're never gonna get to that threshold, right? So yeah. the reason why we're talking about it is is because if you watch this sequence of events. Um, you need to be aware that you don't have enough mana. So when you cast Q, you know, I think you would rather auto attack and not push, right? Or sorry, auto attack and push it that way rather than use your um use your mana to push, right? Because you know, you cast the trap too, right? Right. And we cast Q again and now, you know, there's actually a dive available. Uh, but you have to wait like 17 mana for your ulti or, you know, maybe forego forego your ulti. So, definitely an idea of um, making sure you have you know enough mana to do something, right? So you see how it actually is becoming a you know super relevant. You can ulti here, and this is a double kill, right? For sure. So just uh, just something to keep in mind if you see your mana bar going like anywhere near like half or like a third, make sure you know how much you need for a fight, and then save that much mana for the fight. Right, and that was something I noticed because I watched these vods uh, right after I uploaded them. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed uh, one of the a big mistake I make on Jin. <laughs> Especially, I use my abilities on the wave a lot to not miss CS, but I end up doing it so much that like I run out of mana, like I just did. All right, in those cases, it's like a um, 
honestly, you should be fine just using auto attacks, right? Especially if you're, uh, um, if you're in like this kind of state, like a neutral right. state, right? Yeah. But anyways, this is you're pretty strong now, so this is a uh, good situation. Can't go be here, but you don't really care. I think he does show up. Oh, this is okay, I guess. I like the I like these these mechanical habits you've been developing. Look at this, this sideways step, ten out of ten, it's really good. Sideways and backwards, and you bamboozle this guy. So, did you recently start playing the game? Like you said, you started playing last season. Yeah, season eight. Is that like the beginning of season eight or like the end of season eight? Uh, no, like almost the end of it. Okay, so right here, Tom Kinch goes really low, and I flash because I thought I had my fourth shot up. Oh, feels bad. Yeah, yeah I was gonna, I was gonna fourth shot Q him, and then I blew my flash. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. This is good. You have a lot of, you have a really, you have a lot of good, really good habits in place. All right, so now it's more like a, um, how can we help you find opportunities? Like you know, pressure them on minions when you win trades and stuff like that. All right, so when we see this. You know, uh, man, what's a good way to put this? Okay, there are three main ways Jin kills people. What are they? Uh, I would say three most common ways you do this thing, they die. Uh, fourth shot. Yeah, fourth shot. It's probably the ultimate, most common. Ultimate. Ultimate, right? Well, uh, ultimate when it's not just like low H when low HP. <clears throat> low HP, okay, yeah. Well, ultimate when they're low HP. Um, I don't know. I guess like Jin specifically, or just like Jin I mean, like, hitting, hitting your W, I guess. Yeah, hitting your W. Right. So that's exactly what I'm thinking is one of these three things. It's usually the way you kill someone, right? So right. I want you to watch this, and I want you to tell me are any of these opportunities looking likely, right? What do you think? Are any of these opportunities looking likely? Um, I could probably R right now. Right, there's an ulti Definitely opportunity. R, right? Right. So how do you make sure that Twitch doesn't block all their shots? Because if you ulti yeah. here, Twitch is going to block all their shots, right? Right. But if, if I hit him with the... Well, because I flashed on my third shot. Uh, if I hit him with the fourth shot, he should die to the ulti too, so I don't think he can block. Right, so we just, you know, the idea is on Jin, a, a common idea is let's trade away all everyone's HP and then ulti. Right. Okay. So, is, is Jin, we're seeing a lot of Jin specific ideas, but that just means that you're not really making any overall mistakes, which is really good, right? At least in, in the first 12 minutes of the game, which is extremely clean. I'm surprised because, uh, you know, it's not really, <laughs> we're not really looking at, you know, bronze gameplay here, at least uh, so far. So, um,. But there are opportunities that you can you can look for uh, when you know. It's not that you see an opportunity and then you recognize and you go for it. It's that you know we actively know uh, you know if they're low for a shot, if they're low ulti, and then maybe look at W. Right, we're we're like fishing for that stuff. You know. Okay. Oh, this is free. Um, uh, I mean, hitting Tom Kench here is probably fine. Can you leave? Sure. Uh, okay. You're dead as hell? Yeah, I'm really dead here. So what happened here? What do you think? Um, I, I honestly have no idea why I walked back up. He was like super dead and then I just like walked up to fight Kane for no reason. Right. What, what made you, what possessed you to fight Kane? This is like a habit that's, um, that's, uh, if you like walk back for this, that's a habit. Right. You're going to do this every time. Right. So what what possessed you? What do you think? Um, I I don't know, maybe I just I think maybe I just got overconfident that the last two ganks failed pretty badly, and I thought I could just I thought I could outplay the cane before the Twitch and Tom Kinch got there, but mm -hmm. like obviously that's not going to happen. Looking at it, so how does um? So it's always like you know what's the goal behind hitting this cane here? What do you think? 
we can kind of break this down into like two parts. You know, one is the cane side and one is our side. So if this cane is Genki, what's our uh, what's our goal here? Uh, just live. Yeah, we're just trying to get out, right? We're right. trying to we're trying to leave. So if we hit him, that doesn't really help our goal, right? Right. But how do we know we need to leave? Um, Nautilus is up there alone, and we're. I mean, he's dead already, so. Yeah, maybe we could say this is too doomed, right? There's literally right. nothing we could do. Right. So the instinct there would be like, or maybe the habit there would be like, you know, we don't try and hit people unless beforehand we knew it was good, a good idea, right? Because the instinct to hit someone just because you can is actually extremely strong in most players. Like, they're in range, you're like, yo, I can hit this guy, so I should. And then, you know, they just die, right? right. And then the second part of this is um, mechanical, you know. How does Kane kill people, I guess? I guess the main way for Kane, Kane that kills ADCs as red form. Uh, w knockout. Yeah, he's going to knock you up. All right, so how do you stop that? Uh, run away. So, I mean, you just need, you don't want to be close. The closer you are to him, the easier it is to hit. So. All right, so we can't, we can't really stop it, right? Right. So that's the, that's the problem here is that, you know, you don't have a way to stop him from throwing out his knockup. And then on top of that, we didn't really want to hit him anyways, right? right? So it's very much, you know, two photo idea. Even if you could help this fight, you need to make sure you're not getting hit by the knockup. And uh, if you can't help the fight, you just need to leave, right? So um, there's also like a, another idea where you could say, it, before Nautilus even hooks, we should guess where Kane is, right? Always guess where the jungler is, and the, the jungle is always bot, which is just, you know, right. <laughs> always assume the jungler is bot, right? So definitely an idea. Like for example, here, you know, are you guys okay if Kane shows up? Yeah. Uh, like right now, yeah. Uh, I mean, let's say you know it's Kane, Twitch, and Tom Kench, right? Right. But I'd like Twitch and Tom, like if he showed up right this second, I think we'd be okay. But if Tom Kench and Twitch walk up, we'd need to. Oh, walk God. Twitch and Tom Kench, they're gonna ulti behind you, right? That's the uh, worst case scenario, you know. Did, that's like. Uh, I don't know when Tom ulti to lane, but. He ulti to lane, really? Holy shit! Let me see this. Isn't it? Well, I don't know. Hold on. When was it? Oh, it was a while ago. I don't think he. I don't think I remember seeing that. But you know, he could have ulti delay like here, yeah, right? right there. So this is twelve fifty. Okay, like a so minute. he definitely has it up. So yeah, he probably, should, yeah, he probably has it up, right? So, we shouldn't be stepped up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is a good this is a good a good way to figure this out is, um, this. Do you have flash? No. Right. So that's an indicator that if you push, you're gonna die without your jungler. You need a jungler here. If you ha don't have flash and they do, you're gonna be screwed. Usually speaking, right? Um, that's that. That's definitely a main indicator. The other main indicator is how much health do you have. So you have a full full amount of HP, but you still have no flash. So you're likely to die here, essentially. Um, and then another way you can figure it out is how strong is their support jungle combo, right? Uh, so let's say. You know, you like you said, early level Kane is pretty weak, so there's nothing they can do even if you have no flash. But now it's red Kane. How much better is that? Uh, it's really strong. Their yeah. jungle support combo is really strong. I'm not sure how you can get away, right, if something happens. So right. um, definitely like this, we would probably um, want to play safer until we know where he is. Right. right. In the sense that, you know, you're not looking to trade. Remember, we're always like, we have a reason to pressure on minions. It's because we want to trade. We want to trade if our trade wins and or depends on the jungler, right? If we have a jungler, they have a jungler or whatever. So in this case, we're like, oh, we would probably hang back until we see what's going on here. Um, right. Well, and I think like right now he should be topside because his red's just spawning. But I mean, he obviously could just... That's, yeah, that, that could be an easy debate, right? Because right. um, we did just see him take the dragon like 30 seconds ago. So he could have right. been bot or, you know... <laughs> There's a lot of random stuff happens in solo queue, right? There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way you can assume. Uh, you can assume anything. I mean, surprise, right? So. Yeah, um, it, yeah. Definitely, one idea to help you on lane is no flash. Consider not pushing. All right. Or instead, uh, before you push, check to see if you have flash. That's a good way to put it. How about that? Okay. Before you push, check to see if you have flash. So, you you have a lot of really good mechanical habits going on here. Uh, the only things we've been really talking about are kind of brain stuff, which is really good, right? It's really good. It's really promising in a, in a new player. Because uh, mechanics is not something that's easy to teach, but you can always teach someone how to think about the game. So, oh, these guys are almost dead. Oh, that was disgusting. Well played. You could have healed for it, but it's fine. 
Oh, you're gonna kill everyone here anyways, right? Uh, okay, that's fine too. Okay. Stuff like, if you wanna, okay, so if you wanna talk about opportunities, which is something you might wanna be looking for, um, look to see how you can accomplish this idea. Remember you said we kill someone with a fourth shot, right? Right. So, uh, we have no W and no ulti, so the only thing here is fourth shot. And then, you see this? How do we accomplish our fourth shot goal here? Um, like, well, like right now? If we're looking for it, right? How do we do it? Uh, we just need to keep autoing. I've... Yeah, we need to dump all our shots into the minions and then run up and go for them, right? This is exactly what you're doing, so that's good. But definitely, um, you want to be you want to be actively looking for it in the sense that you know, from here, you want to be looking for minions to hit. Right. Right. And then go bot. This is great. We can push this out. You have flash. You should be fine. That's forward. You should push this out, right? Yeah. Uh, where'd your I, Nautilus, I, wait, hold on. Where'd your Nautilus go? Oh. Uh, he backed. That's awkward. All right, we gotta run ASAP then. Feels bad, man. You thought that trap was gonna save you, but uh, that trap is not gonna save you. No, it's not. Uh, you're gonna have to flash and or W here. I think you just die, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I uh, do flash. Oh, we're dead. So. One thing you might want to look at, because this happened twice, is what is your team doing when you want to do something? Right, remember you were like trying to push bot slash stay because they're doing dragon, but you didn't know they started it, right? right? This dude is actively basing, even if he shouldn't base, so he can help you push. You need to know that he is basing. It's like uh, when you support roams, you need to notice that they're roaming. So um, kind of uh, one way to, to build this kind of habit is base your decisions off of what your team is doing. Right, in the sense that, you know, oh, if my jungle is topside, maybe we want to prevent, we might want to not do something bot side, or if my support is roaming, this is 1v2, right? So definitely, you know, I think you are, you might need to be um, looking at this idea soonish, if not next, right? Because okay. it's, uh, it has impacted the game, you know, twice already. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that dragon play, but uh, I'm pretty sure your, your team should have just, you know, died at that dragon, so... Okay, here we're trying to ulti the Twitch, right? Yeah. And then this guy, you know, I mean, you can, you can hit him, it doesn't really matter. Fast forward. Okay, what is going on here? Alright. Uh, this cane fucks me up again. Did you go looking for him? What's going on? No. But I came over here to clear a ward. And then he just dumpsters me with his full combo. Uh... Okay, so let's talk about this. What happened? What do you think? Uh, well, I saw Kane on the map, and then I should have just ran, and I right. kept trying to kill the ward. So why didn't you? Why didn't you run? What do you think? Um, I thought my passive would be enough just to run away, but I didn't have any summoners. So it's kind of like um, you're trying to get away with like killing this ward, right? Right, even though so, it doesn't actually accomplish that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very much a, you know, you could say risk reward or whatever, but kind of the idea is, you know, you want to make sure that you're, um, hmm. like it's more tunnel. like a, this, yeah, this war like doesn't really matter, right? In, yeah, in like I saw, I saw a thing to do and I just like tunnel visioned on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's an idea of when you decide to do something, you keep doing it and, and finish it through. When right. sometimes you need to, cancel it like it's, it's just you're just faking right, it, right? like, like just... pushing the minion wave with the yes minion. exactly yeah. exactly with the twitch and the nautilus idea yeah. right or even the dragon thing you felt like you were committed you're never really committed in this game you can always you can always back out unless um you're like in too deep but for most decisions you can always you know if you're like let's say baron's at 2000 hp you don't have to finish it if you think you're gonna get out smited you can just stop right this right. it just it just feels bad because you spend so much time slash energy into trying to do it so um yeah Definitely something you can something you can think about as well. Um, this guy's gonna he's gonna kill you if you're not careful. All right, sure. Let's watch this. What happened here? What's going on? Um, I thought Twitch got hit by an ability. Like I, Zoe was dead, so I thought I could root the Twitch uh, and get the second kill. I see. I see. Okay. Oh, this is good to talk about. All right. So, the three ways we said Jin kills people. 
What were they again? Uh, w, R, and fourth shot. Yes. So, I want you to watch this. Why are we talking about this? Um, I hit the W, and then I pressed R on a, with a low HP player. Mm, okay, and, you know, is there anything, uh, kind of... Do you have any other options here, besides using ulti? <laughs> Um, I can just auto the Tom Kench. Right, and why would why would this be better? Um, it's safer. <laughs> Holy shit! You actually sniped him. It's, it's it's less about it being safer and more about it being efficient. Right. right. Like, let's say you want to win this fight. Can you win it with just auto attacks? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say yes, and then you know you go pressure this Baron, and then you have your ulti to maybe stop them from trying to steal it or trying to pressure you guys off it or whatever. But know that you would like to ulti last, usually speaking. Or if you ulti, there's no way they can stop you. So when you see this kind of ult when you see this kind of ulti, right? Um, what would you have done if Twitch just walks away? Um, I'd just dump it into the Tom Kench. Right, he's gonna hit this guy, and right. you know we could do the exact same thing just by auto attacking. Right? right, you would rather kill this good guy and then go for the Twitch who can't run anymore because he 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 got debated into staying. Right, so right. definitely ideas of making sure you um are are holding on to your ulti. But I mean, <laughs> I mean it's hard to say you know it wasn't good because you know you had some highlight play there, but you know in terms of consistency, that is that is exactly what you want to do is is hold on to it. Until the end, when there's no way they can stop it. Okay, let's talk about this. This is exactly what I said earlier, um, where I said there might be Baron ideas if you lose games, right? So right. here, why didn't we? Why didn't we go to Baron? Uh, oh, I didn't think we had the HP for it. Because like Nautilus is half HP and he's the only one who can tank it. I didn't think Lee Sin and Lux were strong enough. To, like I don't, I don't know how fast Lux. And uh, Jin can do Baron, and I, d I just didn't think we had the, the HP. I think we still do it though. No, we just well, ward it. This is free, right? Okay, let's back it up. How do? Okay, so this is good to talk about. All right, so when you kill everyone on the enemy team, there is um, there's some good rules for you. And since you're new, um, you might not have played the game enough to see enough Baron attempts. But there's some easy and fast rules for you, right? So one is, can someone tank it? And you said Nautilus can't take it, right? So who else on your team is a candidate here? Cho'Gath. I agree. Yeah, Cho'Gath. All right. So can right. he take it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can straight tank it, which means your team can do Baron. Okay. So another one is, do you have Earth Dragon? You can do Baron. Another one is, uh, do you have enough damage for it with no tank? Let's say you have like Vayne, Azir, or whatever, but right. none of, none of you guys can take it. You can still do it. You can do it fast enough, right? The worst condition is, you have no tank and no damage. So then you can't do it. You can't do it at all. But in this case, uh, you have one tank. Okay, you can do it. All right, no problem. That's what right. I want you to think. So you know, so they the, all died here. You we just gave up. Yeah, we just gave up like the freest Baron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Essentially, I mean, like you need to end these games, right? Like you, right. you. The the whole idea is that we play well to the point where we win these fights, win a situation, get Baron, kill them, end the game, right? And right. Uh, you know, we, you know, the main step here is we got to get this Baron <laughs> after we kill them, and uh, we didn't get the Baron, so. Now, they're going to get the Baron if you're not careful, um, and that's going to be a problem, right? You, it's like an opportunity for them to come back, which is exactly what's going on. So, right. Um, let's back it up. Let's back it up. Okay, we base here, and then uh, we had a bot here, which is kind of awkward, um, but maybe we can just insta-clear the wave and then go mid, right? Right. So why, why do we need to go mid after pushing this wave here? Because uh, there's nothing bot side for anyone to have. Like, There's no reason to be bot side other than that wave. Right? No other. And then, how come that wave isn't as good as going mid or top? Uh, well, I know their whole team's gonna be there, so they're gonna be fighting four v five without me. Right. And why? Why is your team fighting? Why do they feel like they have to fight? Can't they just back off? Uh, we don't have vision. I mean, we have vision around Baron, but we don't have vision in the river. So. so they just do it. You guys. They're just, they're just like really. They're pressured. They. Get vision yeah. Around. Yeah. Exactly. So here's 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 for now. There's a hard rule. Okay. You can you can don't don't go past this line when Baron is up. You need to go you need to go immediately. Okay. Right? You need to be in mid or you need to be in top. So um, there are definitely Baron ideas going on in this game where um, you know when I was like you know this is not really bronze level gameplay. It's because the mechanics are really good and okay sometimes you miss opportunities but it's not gonna be the end of the world. But if you lose, if you miss Barons that's definitely gonna be the end of the world, right? Or if you give up Barons that's right. gonna be the end of the world. So actual game changing here. Um, you can't defend this, by the way, so you just need to uh, give it up. Yeah. Oh, it's over. Oh my god. <laughs> what? 
so what? Excuse me? Did you see that? <laughs> you were totally- Oh my god. Alright, it's okay. You debated him into getting executed. Alright, good job. Um, what would I say about this? Uh, they're not low enough HP for this. Right. Or you could say maybe low enough, right? Um, you know, we're gonna get this time catch, you're gonna get this Twitch, but is there anything else we can do first before we ult you? Uh, I can just walk up with the Lee Sin. Okay, you can walk up. I would say that's a good option. What else? Another classic Jin option is... Uh, W, yeah. You got W before ult, right? Um, because then your W cooldown will be back up by the time you're done with this ult. But you see how, you know, if you miss a shot or two shots, this is, this is, not, this is not even possible, right? Right. So, definitely uh, make it a habit to ult last, okay? It's going to make your life infinitely easier. You see how you, ca you can't catch up anymore because they're too far away. Walk up, do everything that you can, and then ult. Okay, if you ult too early, think of it as like, you stun yourself, so this ult better be good. Right. Does that, does that kind of make sense, right? Yeah. Okay, good, good. And then you just kill this guy, very nice. Okay, now we Baron, right? Or we could, uh, we could look to Baron. Even though you have no jungler, it's maybe, uh, you can debate it. Okay, something going on here. Oh my god! Oh, please get the Baron. Watch this. Hold up. Uh, I think Twitch owns our team here. Okay, okay. That was a really nice trap. These mechanics are actually really good. Oh my god, this Lux! <laughs> Wait, this Lux saved the game. Let's go. Alright, now we Baron, right? Now we Baron, right? We got a Baron, man. Alright, we got... Okay, so... After you win a fight in the mid game, your first check is can you do Baron? Always. Is what I want you to think, okay? There is... Okay, so Inhibitor is worth more than this Baron, but for now, all we care is check the Baron first. Right. Unless this Inhibitor is brainless, right? You can say maybe... You can calculate, we can push it down fast enough and then base and then contest Baron. But right now, I just want you to take all the free Barons that exist because you guys are actually... You know, you have won the game twice, but you haven't won, if yeah, that makes any, any sense. Think, yeah, any of these right? would have prevented us from Yeah, <laughs> yeah any of these barons, man. I don't know what's going on, but you're actually stalling out your own game somehow by not taking the end game-ending objective. So, when you have a massive advantage, I want you to think, after you kill people, can you do baron? So in this case, can you do baron? Based on the rules we talked about earlier. Yeah, 100%. Right, and uh, they're going to try and steal it, so what should you do? Uh, bait it because they're it's just gonna be Kane, so we could just bait it low HP. Uh, okay, once it gets low and Kane tries to steal, what's the next? What's the next step? Uh, just kill the Kane. Yes, exactly. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Okay, you just do Baron. If the enemy jungle is alive, kill the enemy jungle, then finish the Baron. Right? That's it. It's as simple as that. And then Baron check is like, do you have a tank? Or if you have no tank, do we have enough damage? And then, you know, that's the, or do we have Earth Dragon? That's about it. All right. Those are the three main, those are the three main pieces of information you need to know if you guys need to do bear. All right. You're just, we're just at the point where you're, you're winning these games, but not closing it out. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just, you have no bear. Oh, this is 4v5. You guys are going to, uh oh. Oh, baby. Uh, so, what do we know about OTs now? Right. They weren't low enough HP. They're Yes, yes, I'll tee last, I'll tee last. Right. I want you to think, like, you think you're helping, but I want you to think, like, you know, you're giving up, you are helping in terms of doing a small amount of damage, but you're giving up a potential to win a fight later on. So it's, like, kind of, you know, you're losing opportunities, if that makes any sense. Right. right? You see, like, could you have, did you, did you guys accomplish anything you couldn't have without ulti? No. Yeah, I would agree, right? You just need to walk up, hit people, or if you can't walk up, look for Ws, right? Um, but you definitely, you definitely don't want to ulti there. So, like, let's say, for example, they, still, they do a Baron, you can use your ulti to stop them from doing Baron, right? Or, this is always trying to get away, free ulti here, right, right, for example. So, definitely, things to consider is, um, you know, it's good that you're, it's good that you're trying all these things out, uh, but now you want to start um, refining it to the point where, you know, I think you, 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 you know what looks good and what doesn't look good now. So now you just need to make sure you're going for the, the really good ones. If that makes any sense, right?
Oh, yeah. nice try. If Lee had smited or something crazy, that would have been a sick combo. But uh, it's okay. Okay, this is what I want you to think as well. Can you do Baron in this picture? Yeah. Mm, well, what if they come stop you? How free is it? What do you think? Well, it's still... It'd be a 4v3. Not also get there at the same time as Silo, so mm -hmm. it's 4v5 at, like, the most. That's a little, it's a little hard. It's not exactly free-free. Right? right. It's not as free as the PvE 5v0 we saw earlier. But, yeah. you know, if it's, if it's not free, you, you, what should you still do? Uh, beat it. Yes, beat it. You gotta go word it. You gotta go sit on it. You gotta make them think you're doing it. And then, you know, you kill them all, then you actually do it. All right? I, I think this is just the cookie-cutter strat you need to elevate your gameplay. <laughs> Because you guys go siege this, this is unlikely to work, we would say. Oh my god, unless this Lux is actually 1v9. Holy shit, this Lux is actually 1v9. But you still can't get the tower, right? Right. Look at this. You have no minion wave. So this, you guys just need to bait the Baron. You just Basically, make your whole mid-game, late-game objective Baron. Okay? That's it. That's all you need to worry about. Um, it's honestly all you need to worry about. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. You can tell if it's going to be good based on how much HP they have, right? No one can block, so... Oh! Oh, yeah, nice shot. I just, just whiffed like crazy there. Well, you had, the good, you had a good setup there. You just killed this guy, by the way. Oh, no. How do we know uh, you can kill this guy? I didn't think we could 1v1 him. Because, like, he's going to kill... Like, if we turn around and fight, he's going to kill Cho'Gath and Nautilus. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know if I... Because I have the fourth shot, but then I feel like he just kills me during the reload. Well, you know, after you reload, can you run away? Or as you're reloading, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just... You can hit and run. It gives you, it gives you a lot of move speed, right? So right. you can just t toss your fourth shot just for damage even. And then you can just peace out and come back if you think it's good. So um, definitely the idea is, you know, dumping your fourth shot uh, so you can kite, right? Here you just hit this guy for sure. Or you can kill Kane or... You can even kill Twitch here, honestly. Um, but definitely make sure you are uh, playing around fourth shot ideas. Right? If you have your fourth shot, you can do something. That's what I want you to think. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with your fourth shot. That was a really nice W. These mechanics are really good. I know I keep saying that, but they honestly <laughs> are, you know, really good. Especially for someone who's in bronze, right? The only I feel like the only reason you're in bronze is is just a lot of decision making errors. Um, yeah, I mean, and in experience, that's about it, right? Yeah, There's a lot of potential uh, here. There, I feel like so the times where I feel like I lose lane the hardest are against like. And, like, I don't, like, the only time, like, I don't know, like, yeah, my mechanics, I, like, I feel like they're okay. Like, I, I don't know, I guess I'm just, like, I'm not super confident in my mechanics, like, in any game I've ever played. Like, I play competitive Counter-Strike, and, like, I'm, I don't know, I, like, I feel like I'm pretty good at it compared to most players, but I just, I never, I still never feel like I'm, like, a good player. So, I don't, but, uh. Like, the lanes that I uh, lose the hardest are, like, poke lanes. Right, like, right, right, like, right. I, like, I really struggle against, like, Ezreal, Lux, Bran. Like, just kind of the... Like, Ezreal's not, like... Ezreal's not, like, a noob champion, but, like, the noob supports, like, the ones that are super easy to play and really easy to win lane with. Right, right. And I think this is... is, is it seems like a clear... It seems like an obvious weakness because a lot of what, what plagues you isn't the mechanical part of the game, but rather the... the the knowledge part of the game, like, oh, um, if you're not expecting them to throw stuff at you, you're always going to get hit, right? And right. stuff like that. So, I, I mean... Hmm? Well, because that was the that was actually the third VOD I had. Um, it was a... It was like a lane that went super... Like, we still won the game, but the lane just went super rough against uh, Ezreal Zareth. Oh, and I, I just, like, I just felt like I had zero pressure in the lane, like, ever. That's a rip. Basically, your whole goal is just that shit, you know? So, right. not much you can do except do that and or maybe hope your support can find something, right? But I do want to highlight some things here. So, first is this. You see this? Bam! You could have done that earlier. So, that's just food for thought where dump your fourth shot and leave like you're doing here, right? That's really good. And then um, the other thing here is, you know, this is 5v4. It looks easy to take this tower, right? Right, we can just Baron. Always Baron your bait, okay? I just, you just need to do this. Like, you need to buy a pink ward. You stick it on the Baron. I promise you the enemy team will run it down into your open mouth, okay? I promise you, dude. I promise. 
Okay, they're actually just gonna face tank a binding, a Lisa kick, a, a hook, a Cho'Gath Q, your W, doesn't matter what it is. Someone on the enemy team is gonna int, okay? You do this, it's the opposite. Your team's gonna int. I promise. Right. You see what's going on here? It's like, yeah, this is like both the... teams are inting now. <laughs> now it's like, it's like you know, the, it's, it's like strange. the classic Lily Low, like, yeah, or even like, ARAM. What's going on, right? Um, you know, find, we somehow found a dive eventually, but like, this is, there's a lot of room for disaster here. You just need a Baron Jabate, okay? Right. Um, you guys took Dragon. Uh, you guys are late to this Baron. Oh man. Okay. This is fine. Okay. Uh, need a run. You're going the wrong way, my dude. Yeah, I wanted to fight and then flash over the wall when Kane uh, tries to jump on me. Uh huh. And then you start to twitch if you're not careful. You guys lose this 45, by the way. So let's just fast forward. Oh, actually, let's watch those specifics. This will be good. <clears throat> but you guys are pretty much guaranteed to lose. So. Yeah. We, the, so here's, it's very clear that there is, there is, there is a, a, a main, a main idea holding you back. Okay. It is decision making. Of, right. You know, how do we make sure we end the game after we get a massive advantage? And how do we make sure that we prevent massive throws? So. You know, why did I say it was guaranteed loss? Just like from here. Um, I'm just in like a really shitty spot, and it's four v five. Four v five. Your, your well, your shitty spot is a debate. You said you're gonna flash over the wall. That's actually really good. Right, that's a really good debate. But it's four v five. So is that that debate is not good enough for a four v five? Right, it's just never so, winnable. It's four v five. You know, we we really don't want this. So you know, you can you can kind of help. You can hit this guy. You know, we can do all that. But when stuff starts happening and it's going south, we need a kite. Right. And, uh, you know, you see this? Oh, we just right. need to leave. I should have just cut. Yeah, I should have just ran straight a, down. We need out. We need to stop. We need to not continue this. So this is... Remember how we said in lane, this is a habit. It's the same thing in this in this fight, except it's just on a bigger scale. Right? You stay to fight that Kane, even though he's ganking and this fight is doomed down here. Your Nalus is dead. It's the exact same thing here. Your, your, team is, your team is doomed here. We're still trying to fight this guy. So um, we need to make sure that the basic... The, 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 the basic uh, decision-making ideas are here, which is 4v5 and... Baron after you kill them all, okay? That's it. 4v5 and Baron after you kill them all. That's that's the only things you're missing right now. That's that's preventing you from winning this game. Like <laughs> this game is one 15 minutes ago, but uh you just you just needed a Baron, so Yeah. And the other one the other one is don't siege the tower. Okay. Unless it's literally so free that you could do it by yourself. How about that? Okay? Don't yeah. hit the tower. Like you guys are sieging mid. It is true that you should do it 5v4, but I think at this level, dude, this is... A lot of random shit's gonna happen. <laughs> you guys, this is, I think it's more likely you actually just bait the Baron instead of uh, doing that. So, how do, you, how do you help do Baron ideas? What do you think? What's the what? most important item you can buy to help do Baron ideas? Yes, yeah, just put it inside the pit. I don't know. Dude, this is bronze. You have five people. How many people put a word in the Baron pit? One. This doesn't even count, right? Well, how many people right. put a pink word in here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what the fuck, right? What's going on? Uh, so you, as long as you have one, you should be okay, right? Um, all you just need to do is put it in here and you're good to go, okay? Um, and you guys trying to bid it. It's going to get stolen. It's, they have too many people. This is, another, this is another rule you can't break. Don't do objectives if they're all alive. Unless it's actually a sneak. So um, it's just basic. It's just you're not losing because of mechanics. It's just but definitely... Basic concepts going on here, and then, I don't know what this is, but um, it doesn't look good enough, right? Oh, please kill! Please tell me this Twitch dies. Nope. All right, you guys are doomed. All right, fast forward. Oh, 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 hold up! You guys aren't doomed. Oh shit! Pog champ. Oh, it went from Pog champ to feels bad. All right, let's talk about this. What do you think here? Uh, I just need to run up an auto. And you just hit her, yeah. You just hit her, she dies. So right. uh, I think you're having a lot of the same mistake of ulting too early, essentially. Okay. I want you to think when you ulti, no one can block the shots, you're going to kill people. Oh, they ran it down. Oh, okay. And then uh, you can't fight them, you have three bullets. That's fine. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, and we're losing our base. Yeah, so that was a lot of, that was a lot of RNG right there. You so do not they, want to start yeah. the Baron. You bait it always. Don't start it though. Uh, and the way to bait it is put a pink word down, okay? And the reason, one, of the, one of the main reasons why you can't just start is because um, there's two reasons. One is that you're tanking, 
right? So people are losing HP right here. Right. The second is that in solo queue, there's no coordination. So if half the team turns, what does the other half of the team do? They're probably trying to finish Baron. Exactly. So uh, don't actually don't actually start it if the enemy team can stop you. You just want to you just want to debate it, okay? Or if you do start it, type in chat. We are turning, and Lux is gonna do it, or Nautilus is gonna do it. All right. Be very specific. Otherwise, your team has no idea what's gonna happen. So um, that's a feels bad. Yeah, they just yeah we just had. <laughs> Oh no, that's a feels bad. It's okay. That's not really your fault. Your jungle's on the wrong side of the map. Um, you definitely don't want to fight here. I think if there is a mechanical idea to talk about, it's just you know decision making wise, stop using your ulti. Okay. Right. Ulti last. Ulti last. It's gonna help you a ton. I want you to think the best use of your ulti. Like you told me, they're low. They're all low. You're gonna kill them. All right. So do exactly what you just told me every time. They're all low, you're going to kill them. Other cases for ulti do exist, like, oh, slow them down so you can continue a 5v4. But at this level of gameplay, you will always be able to kill the whole team with your ulti. <laughs> all right, so um, just make sure you're, you're holding on to it for, for those times. Right. Oh, I could have hit her there. It's okay. All right, this is just a... Um, they have Elder Dragon. You guys don't want to defend this stuff. But uh, yeah, this game, is, this game is a little bit too far gone in terms of... Um, it could have been one multiple times earlier, so don't worry about the end of that. That's just sometimes that happens, okay? Uh, what's going on here? Hold up. Should we watch the lane phase? What do you think? Um, I don't remember how this one went. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nice try, Brent. Oh, this one I was uh, I was doing with the support this time. I don't know if that matters at all. No, it doesn't. Did you see that? What? He just healed. Oh, yeah, I pinged it. Or he pinged uh... it. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Yeah, they were like... Oh, no. Okay, so like level... I don't know what happened here. Yes, like the level 1, the Morgana just like walked up and took a ton of damage. And then... My support just like ran it down. Because he was like... He thought they were trolling. Yeah, well, he was trolling, so that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, okay, sometimes it happens. There's a flash here if you can find it. Oh, that's why you got binded, I see. Yeah. That's fine. I was, I was looking for the flash. Sure, sure, sure. Fast forward, fast forward. Um, ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba. sure, sure, sure. Let's keep going. What was the thing in lane we talked about that was most important? You remember? Uh, not pushing. Uh, not pushing without flash, right? Perfect. That's all you need to remember. That's the only thing going wrong in lane. So, um, that's same thing with this game, right? Is that nothing's really going wrong, so you're totally fine. A okay, right? Uh, the other, the other thing was also the other other thing about fighting was also what I should say. There's actually another thing I forgot we talked about. Uh. I'm not sure. It was the uh, the mana, right? Oh, you got, right, you're, right, you're beating right. this guy up. You have all you can cast everything, so it's really good. Um, but yeah, I think you already know about the mana, right? So for Kaisa, it would be like 110, you would say. Right. So you can cast Q and W. Hopefully more than that, so you can cast maybe two Qs. But you get the idea. Um, so far, so good. Landing is great. Okay, check it out. Let's watch this. Uh, nice try. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. You need to heal this guy. Uh, okay, we should talk about this. This is actually, um, it happened twice, so we're gonna talk about it. So what is this thing we're talking about? Um. I don't know. Watch Brand, Brand's health bar here. Do you need a hint? Yeah. So why is the ignite important? Oh, I should have healed a lot earlier. You gotta heal him before or you're not healing him. Right. right. So you can say, I don't want to heal him. I'm gonna use it myself for this fight. That's fine. 
you can say i need to heal him now so the ignite doesn't out outdo my heal so he can live that's fine too but yeah. you can't this is the worst case where you heal through right, ignite yeah. yeah and you don't heal yourself so definitely make sure that uh if you if you heal you heal immediately or you don't use it right right but you know the the the, the rest of this is totally fine right the execution you just kill people you can ulti you can do whatever you want you know it's great you have your rex right here for sure sure and then shirt oh we can talk about this remember what we said about pushing right, right. what are the two components i just stand back to flash for way too long yeah actually should have killed you what's going on here <laughs> oh my god you're so lucky uh yeah but yeah I, remember he, what, he just didn't he just didn't press q the two no, components there yeah, he messed up his auto attack cancel. Yeah, I should have been dead. Yeah, no, I should have been so, dead. I just sat back <laughs> in the flash for way too long. All right. Remember our two components, though, of surviving a gank. What were they? Flash and... Uh, vision? Uh... uh... What is this? HP. Yes, flash and HP. So here we have a lot of missing HP. That's an indicator that, you know, you're going to die, which is, you know, what should have happened here. But... Because you have flash, you know, maybe you can say like, I'm going to debate, I'm going to outplay this. But um, the thing is that the higher level you go, just having flash is not going to be enough. He's going to flash after you. Right. So uh, just keep in mind, remember, before you push, make this check. Do I have flash? Do I have HP? It's going to help you a lot. Okay. Any lane mistakes actually just comes from that, from what we've seen so far, right? Literally any lane mistakes is this, is ganking. Easy, easy way to help you remember. Um, and then you can modify it based on how strong they support and jungle combo are. So if they have an insane support jungle combo, you can have flash in full HP and still die. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Sure, sure, sure. Very nice. Fast forward. Fast forward, fast forward. I want to get to the mid game stuff because that's definitely going to be, um, that's actually just where if major things go wrong, it's just this, <laughs> right? Right. And like, well, like I uploaded this one, uh, just for. Like some variety. Like I have the second uh, Jin fod, like I said, and uh, against the Ezreal Zareth, and I have that on Twitch right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you see that? Look at that Heimdinger ulti. Oh, beautiful. Interesting. Interesting. You're doing really good. You're doing really good. I expect that once you can fix these basic punish after you kill the enemy team, you're just gonna win every game. Okay. From what we're seeing here, as long as you're not getting caught somehow in mid game or team fights, which you aren't, um, it should be just easy clap. Okay, this is fine. I mean, he's just weak as hell, I guess, so you just kill him too. Sure. Uh, you can flash for this if you want to. Very nice. Well played. Auto attack, auto attack, save W. Oh, okay. You can E after him too. Oh, barely. You don't have him. Rex, I might. Nope, she has no ulti. All right, fast forward. Just do the dragon. Good, 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 good. Okay, remember, I always want you to do this though, which is what? After you kill the enemy team, what's the first check? Baron. Can you do Baron? Uh, right now, no. I agree, no. They're alive, you have no tank, that's it, right? Yeah, and it's not up for another 10 and, and you have no earth, so. Um, so you can't do it. Perfect. So you do dragon instead, right? That's, I want you to think like literally after anything happens, you need to check for Baron because that's really where uh, the main thing you're going wrong is just it's just playing around Baron. So um, I hope you can win this because if you oh nope you're fine, very nice. Wow, you know I said don't play Kaisa. Part of it is because of mechanical ideas, but you're doing you're totally fine on this champion for mechanical ideas. Okay, hold up. What's going on here? It's about to be some 4v5, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we lose this super hard. Right, so you see how it's actually just the exact same things over and over and over and over and over again, right? right. So, um, 4v5 and Baron, right? Okay, so here's the easy tip. If there's, if you don't know what's going on in this fight, if it looks like Malzahar is getting here in time, kite it out. Okay. Always kite it out. You see, which direction are you going toward? Which direction are you going? I'm running straight into the team. All right, you want to stay. So here's a good way to do it is, if you're not sure, you just dance like outside of this range and then figure things out and then join. 
The amount right. of time you have to join the fight is actually quite long if it's a winnable fight. So right. I think part yeah, of that I was I was just I was like super confident that I could just burst the jacks down because I was like I was seven zero. So yeah, well, <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> clearly died. that didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye, good sir. Uh, so yeah, you're just dead as hell. So <clears throat> definitely, um, definitely something you want to work on. Of course, Mazar is just gonna run in here one v four, right? Because you know. <laughs> That's how the game works, and then uh, okay, and we kill these minions, and then now we need to be top and mid, right? So you see how um, we are having. We want you to work on this idea, and even though in this case you should be bot, I want you to think you know get to mid slash top as fast as possible. Okay, right. after you kill these minions, you gotta run up there, which is what you do. It's really good, but you didn't do it the other game, so I'm I'm still concerned, right? And then, uh, okay, something's going on. Oh, they're trying to do dragon. Sure. Let's just, uh, I mean, we can, we can try and stop them, I guess. <laughs> we should just push mid here, though. It's fine. We can win this fight easy. Oh, you need to cut it out, guys. Oh, boy. Don't OT in that, by the way. Oh, this is easy clap. Let's go. Easy clap, baby. Very nice. Um, uh, you might have been a little, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I right was. I went too hard there. Um, might have been slightly a little bit too early. He, it was actually a little unfortunate he got hit by that stun, but... Um, man! Okay, here's some basic ideas I was going to help you just in all these fights that are happening, right? I want you to think, kite, when in doubt, right? So, imagine if you ulted backwards in this picture. Here. What do you think? Would it be a lot better? Uh, yeah. And I'm not saying that this doesn't work. I think this is a really good find in, for playmaking. It's that the only reason it didn't work is because... Check it out. This is why it didn't work. You ready? See that? Yeah. You're stunned. You're gonna kill them all here. Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm just like stunned in their back line now. Yeah, so it's like just, just class... Complete, <laughs> just completely yeah. useless. Yeah, very much a... Um, Kite until it's super free, and here you were really close. I think it was uh, it was actually excellent in terms of playmaking opportunities. But um, you got hit by the stun still, so it went from hero to zero. So very much a kite backwards until you figure out otherwise. And you know this is the main thing you want to be thinking of is when you see this, what kind of fight is this? Uh, four v five. That's all you need to know, right? You play like it's a four v five. You need you know you need you need to know that you want to. You want to kite until it's omega free. So if you E in, it doesn't make sense, right? Right. So um, definitely 4v5 ideas and Baron ideas are the main things you need to be working on. That's the two main mistakes. Literally, actually, the only two mistakes that we're seeing because it just happens so frequently um, at this level. So this is 5v5. I have no problem. I mean, I've, there, is, there is no question about your ability to win, like, even fights. Like, you just win every single one of these fights. So, you can ulti in this and, like, do your thing, right? Um, very nice, very nice. Uh, you can try to get the guy. You're slow, though. Oh! <laughs> Faded out an arrow. Nice. Okay, Baron, right? Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Thank God. Thank the Lords. So, you guys got Baron. That's, we want you to do this trick every time. I don't know why... You didn't do it the other game, but did you call for this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you got you call for this. So yeah, definitely do this every time. You're just gonna win the game. Okay, just do right. this every time. But I don't, I don't know if it's because I've played I've played a lot more Kaiser than I have Jin, so I don't know if I'm like if like in game if I'm focusing too much on like how to play Jin, but like I don't know, like especially games like this where I'm just like super fed and I'm just like. I'm just kind of like hard winning everything. I just feel like really in the zone with like decision making. That's good. That's good. Yeah, maybe it's just a um, maybe it's like just do the short checklist we talked about, and that'll help help you figure out if you can do it or not. Right. Right. Oh, that's a nice ulti. These mechanics are so good. Like actually, the only reason you're bronze is because some are you're losing games you shouldn't. Essentially, that's actually the only reason. Yeah, and it, it's like I don't like I don't I re I I really don't believe in like 
not blaming myself for losses because especially like the last one like it was 100 percent preventable yes, that, yes, it, yes like yes. we would win that game if i just like do that. but there's just like if i like if i don't take free wins like that there's just some games that just feel so doomed like oh yeah yeah some games are actually just doomed oh nice trying the timing some games are actually doomed right that's why you gotta take those wins where you can all right so. okay got the dragon shirt Okay, hold up. We had this Baron buff. What do we do? Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. What happened? See my Baron, um, right? What's going on here? Let's back it up. Uh, yeah, so we got Baron. Uh, I base, and okay. then, then my team base. just like runs it down. We're still alive, right? Okay, let's talk about this. When you have the Baron... Okay, so... I thought it would be fine once you got the Baron. We need to talk about this too. Okay, so when you have the Baron, I want you to think as, you know, the first opportunity you get, run it down a lane with all your minions and your whole team. Okay, and your minions will win you the game. Right. The minions will siege the tires. So the reason why we need to talk about this is because, okay, clearing this wave is not necessarily bad. You can run mid immediately, but, you know, we didn't run mid immediately. We started doing Krugs. Right. right? And then not not only that, but uh, you know, then then you start doing red, and then you start doing raids. And then, <laughs> right. You know, I just like take his entire jungle and then try to. We're, we're too late for this. We're too late right. for this. So, um, you need to run it down a lane with the minions, which is what your team is doing. You need to just run it down with them. You'll actually just win the game. I promise. Okay. And then uh, I mean, we get here eventually, but then you know somehow Baron is completely wasted. So, I want you to think that once you have the Baron, look for the first opportunity to run with the wave and crash it into the enemy tower. And the enemy team will have no idea what to do. Okay. You don't even have to hit the tower. Don't even hit the tower. Just let the minions do all the work. So. Yeah. That's how you guys use the Baron. Feels bad. So yeah. Um, here's a good way to put it. Alright. You kill. You, where, 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 where's the Baron? Here we go. You kill the Baron. Okay. And then you base. And you instantly clear bot. Then run mid. Okay. You instantly clear bot. You want to run with this wave here. Okay. okay, this is a specific wave you want to run with, and it's the first one or the second one. Well, whatever, whatever wave is coming out, and you get there, you're like, okay, I can get the red, and I can go. And that's it. Okay. That, would be the, that would be the thought process. So, then, uh, man, it really is barren ideas that are uh, that's <laughs> stalling out these games somehow. 4v5 and barren, that's, that's actually all you care about. And if there's landing problems, you know, it's just ganks. So, like, don't even worry about the mana stuff for now. Like, that's not, that's like small fish right now. Uh oh. Okay, this is something else. First time I've seen you get caught. That's awkward. Okay. So, how did this happen? You hang uh, the tower. <laughs> I, yeah, I use. So, I didn't have anything to dodge more Q with, and then I just walked straight into it. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Okay, so there are several schools of thought here. Okay, one is kind of outskill. So when you hit this, this is a challenge to them to stop you, essentially. And it's not that you shouldn't do this. It's that uh, if you do go for this, you should know what you're getting yourself into. All right? Right. Um, also, thank you, Loco, for the, the host. I'm coaching someone right now. Um, yeah, you should know what you're getting into, right? They're all going to try and stop you. So here, you know, when, when this Jack stops you, you're, you do really well. You're like, E out, and then we're good to go. And the thing, the thing is with this is that, um, you know, you need to be able to do that again and again and again for everything they have. Whatever engage they have, you need to be able to beat it. This is why I tell people, you know, we don't want to hit the tower until proven otherwise is, is because not only is this you doing this every time, I mean, your mechanics are really good, but you still got hit by this, right? Right. Uh, but not, not only that, but your team, what are, what are the chances your team gets hit by this? What do you think? What are the sorry, chances sorry say that again? What are the chances your team is going to get caught? Uh, pretty high. It's insane, right? They're always going to get caught. Someone's going to get caught here. It doesn't matter who it is. So, right. um, and then once you get, you know, if you do this enough times, you'll see like TP comes in from behind and then you lose the Baron, all right? So I want you to think Baron Jabate is your primary way of getting something done at this level okay okay primary debate so definitely uh <laughs> make sure that's a priority you see how like 
somehow it's just like disasters happening, right? Anytime there's 4v5, anytime there's a siege on the tower, anytime we have some kind of... Um, Baron was not taken when it should have been taken. So, okay, let's watch this. This is a 5v5. Oh, this is a 4v5. Alright, let's actually talk about this a little bit. What do you think? How do you think you should play differently if it's a 4v5? Um, probably just play it a lot slower. Alright, play a lot slower. What does a lot slower mean? Um, I mean, just cut it out, like you said. Yeah, 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 cut it out. Re essentially, holding on to your abilities until you see something really good, right? So, I mean, this looks pretty good, I would say. So, that's, that was really good. And then, sure, they can get Baron, and uh, you just kill everyone. That's definitely worth... Okay, this is Heimerdinger Tower is soloing your team. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, and then push this out, sure. Very good. Very nice. And Elder Dragon, great. 10 out of 10. Um, we can talk about this a little bit. We should talk about this a little bit. Okay, so we are seeing a little uh, uh, a habit of... Um, it's not necessarily ulti, but you have other options other than immediately going for this, is what I want to say. And the reason why this is important is because um, not only are you going to be able to save your ulti if you walk up, right? So if you walk up here, he's still dead. Right. But if you ulti, there's actually a chance things can go wrong. And what I mean by that is like he's going to stun you immediately, or the enemy team that you can't see, they're going to try and kill you. Or check it out, you ready? What was that? what this guy right here he just showed up yeah where did this guy come from right so definitely make sure that if you have an option other than committing uh you should just take it like just walk up and auto attack i think there are a lot of opportunities there's a lot of times where you can do that instead and it's going to be more consistent and it'll get the job done now it's going to be just as good if not better because you save your, your ultimate so oh okay. <laughs> the check's fucked up but uh that was really nice uh that was really nice uh eve okay good hold up what the hell uh, the brand was just dead, so I just walked this away. This is just uh, round two of uh, 3v2, okay? You see, actually, I mean, this is actually really good to talk about. You see this, right? You see how your ulti becomes relevant here. Right. This is actually, you know, you can make a game-ending play. Maybe you can just like, oh, flash auto-attack the KO ulti into the, to the, to the ash and do some crazy stuff, but you have no ulti. So right. definitely make sure that if you have options other than committing your most important abilities take it what do we say about this uh doomed uh, why 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 though that's yeah, 4v2 yeah that's not it's not zero it's always the same thing i promise you if you can work on these main problems 4v5 baron ideas how to get baron what to do with the baron that's it you'll win every game you win uh, well, uh, maybe not every game but every game we're seeing that that goes like this okay so um here's here's the habits we want you to work on for your next foreseeable 30 games all right first is the 4v5 check anytime champions are near each other check for numbers anyone that's missing on the enemy team is there and then everyone on your team that you can you can see is there right um and then after that the habit is baron ideas right once you kill the enemy team check for baron first can you do it um and then once you get baron run it down a lane with your team right with the wave right you don't have to be there before the wave you just want to run with the wave so right that's it that's like that's like the three like you can do those three things you're gonna win these games like there should be no problem like the mechanical stuff we talked about like holding on to your ulti and walking up instead that is all very relevant but it's not as game changing as the 4v5 and the baron stuff okay so i would say work on that last just really want to work on the decision making stuff. Like you see this, their kill is in base. Let's start it, right? No problem. Get the Baron, thank God. Okay, let's run it down. Oh man, we need to run it down. We need to run it down a lane. Okay, we're going bot, so we're going down to a lane. That's good. Okay, okay, just kill this guy. Uh, also on the topic of not using abilities when you don't have to, right? <laughs> Yeah, you just, you, yeah, you should just auto attack him, but uh, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Okay, and then you just kill these guys. This is easy clap. You even have Zanyas if you need to use it. Very nice. Just kill them all here, and then end the game. Okay, good, good, good. So yeah, very much 
Uh, okay, something we also didn't talk about. Run it if you have Baron, run it down the lane without the inhibitor, or with the inhibitor, I should say. If you already took the inhibitor, go down a different lane, right? Right. And that's that's stick to those these key rules, and it's gonna help you finish off these games. Okay, does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Any um any questions? What do you think? Um, I don't think so. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, can you can you remember what we what we talked about and, and implemented in game? Yeah, it's always the it's always the question, right? So, uh, in lane, it was the the whole flash relationship with ganks, right? That's really easy to remember. Right. And then out of lane, it's just honestly, don't even worry about the fighting stuff for now. Focus only on Baron and four v five. That's it. And just you know, buy pink ward for the Baron. Right. Makes sense. Sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. 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 All right. So if there are no other questions, then I will upload this to YouTube later tonight and send you the link so you can rewatch. Other than that, definitely let me know how these games are going. I think, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, we know you're bronze too, but you're, you're not really bronze too, right? You just need to fix these few things. You're definitely like at least gold. Okay. So fix these major issues and you're going to have no problem climbing. So. Awesome. Yeah, let me know how the games are going. All right, so. thanks so much. No problem, no problem. Yep. Have a good one. Yep, you too.